Hey girlies, so today I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine. Um, this is me throughout the day filming videos and being outside. I'm just going to brush my hair with a tangle teaser. I love this because my scalp is so sensitive and this really removes any knots and you can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And I'm just going to tie my hair up with a twist tie and those are made from like nylon or something so they're super sensitive um, and loose on your hair. And I just tie it up in a top knot. I have this hairstyle about 95% of the time when I am not at school and that is that. So I'm going to go change into my pajamas. I'm going to be using the Botanics um, eye makeup remover. This is all natural. You can get this at Boots if you're in England or Target um, and it's relatively cheap. So I'm just going to be applying this to a cotton round and just putting that on there. This step I absolutely hate because it takes forever to get all my eye makeup remover off. And I just shake up the product and put it on the cotton round and onto my eye. And then I just do it one handed for the other eye. Um, it looks like I'm very rigorous and like rough on my eye but I am going so lightly. I am just moving the root of my eyelashes to get off all the gunk and gel eyeliner that I've had all day. And so it looks like I'm just rubbing back and forth, but it is super light and I cannot stress that enough. You need to be super gentle on your eyes. I'm going to be going in with the Josie Maron Cleansing Oil. I am addicted to this stuff. It is just argan oil for your face and um, it just smells like citrus. I really like it and it makes me use less of my cleanser and less of my micro exfoliant that I tend to use in the morning. So I just rub about three pumps into my hand and then rub it on dry skin onto my face first. I rub it onto my eyes just to get off any leftover makeup that you can see has still not gotten off. And then I'll use some lukewarm water onto my skin as you'll be seeing soon. This I got at Sephora and I think it was around $30 or so. So after taking this off, I will be using just a rubberized textured sponge thingy I got at Sephora. And then I'll be using the Ultra Calming Dermalogica Cleanser. This stuff doesn't foam up, so you have to use less product because it doesn't foam up. And I will just be going in circular motions with this. I love this little tool. I got it at Sephora, like I said, and it just gets off the first layer of skin and it really gets down into your pores and it's a lot cheaper than the Clarisonic. So I just rub this all over my face. It looks like, again, I'm going rough, but it's very soft what I am doing. Then I use these Kleenex paper towel things I just got at Target. They're about $2.49 and a lot better than using a normal towel which can carry bacteria. And I just dab off my face very lightly. I'm going next with the Active Moist Dermalogica Moisturizer. I'm addicted to this stuff. It is so rich but it doesn't make your skin feel tacky or have a lot of residue on it. I put a generous amount because it is winter time and I just dab this all over my face. I use just one hand because I feel like if I'm using two it's just absorbing in both hands instead of just one. So you can see I use a thick layer because I would rather have a thicker layer at night and then use less product in the morning. Along with that argan oil from Josie Maron, I found that my face is more plump and hydrated feeling in the morning. So it's getting all that oil um, circulation and not causing me to have texture or dry spots. I'm going to be using the Derma East Soothing Eye Gel. You can find this at Vitacost or Eye Herb. This stuff has changed my under eyes. I do not have that much dark circles or really fine lines, which I do not like on my eyes. And this just really plumps up the under eyes. I'm going to be using the Dermalogica Cook um, Overnight Clearing Gel. And this stuff has tea tree oil and salicylic acid. And I, I just mix some and put it on the back of my hand and then dab it over any hyperpigmentation and any active breakouts that I may be having. Then I just put some Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm on and I am good to go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.